Soybean cis nematode, or SCN, is the top yield robbing pathogen of soybean in the U.S. It's responsible for an estimated $1 billion in lost yield every year. SCN is also pretty sneaky in that it can cause up to 30% yield loss without any above ground symptoms. SCN is a worm that parasitizes soybean roots. It lives in the soil and moves any way that infested soil does. With wind and water, on humans and animals, and on equipment. SCN was first found in Minnesota, in southern Minnesota, in the late 1970s, and now, through the movement of infested soil, can be found as far north as Roseau and Lake of the Woods counties. SCN is managed by planting resistant varieties and rotating the crops that SCN cannot infect, like corn, any of the small grains, sunflower, potato, sugar beet, and canola. The first step in managing SCN is to know whether or not a field is infested. And the best way to do this is to collect and send soil samples to a lab for analysis to determine how many eggs might be in your sample. The more SCN eggs in a given volume of soil, the greater the potential for yield loss. The presence of eggs can tell you whether your field is infested. And periodically sampling known SCN positive fields can tell you how well management practices have worked to keep SCN population densities in check. To find SCN in a field for the first time, focus on collecting soil cores from those areas of the field where infested soil is likely to be introduced or settle out, like field entrances, lower areas where water pools or floods, and along shelter belts and fence lines. To best monitor known SCN populations and track population trends, collect samples from the same areas of each field at the same time of the year and point in the crop rotation. As with any soil-borne plant pathogen, there are going to be areas of the field with higher and lower population densities. And soil sampling will just give us an estimate and a snapshot in time. But the more soil cores you collect from an area, the better the estimate will be. Collect six to eight inch soil cores from within the soybean row and put them in a bucket. When you have 15 to 20 cores, gently mix them together and put about two cups of soil in a labeled sample bag. Remember that nematodes are living things, and so it's important not to store them, even temporarily, in the sun. Ship samples so that they arrive to the lab alive and don't sit in a hot delivery truck over a weekend. For more information about SCN sampling and management, visit the University of Minnesota Extension website or the SCN Coalition website 